Welcome to Advanced Test Equipment's video series on the Fluke 1736. Be sure to check out our other videos in this series. Links are provided at the end of this video. First thing we want to do after the system boots up is go to the memory settings, then instrument settings, and info. Before we begin our login session, we want to see what the unit is currently measuring. To do that, I will click on the meter button here the display shows us the voltage, current, and frequency on all three phases. Pressing Live Trend, we can see voltage, current, current on the neutral, and frequency. If you need to change the configuration, go back to the table, click Change Configuration, select your study, then Topology. Here you can scroll down and select your configuration from the drop-down menu. Nominal voltage can be changed as well. Here you can change the voltage settings using the drop-down menu. And nominal frequency can be adjusted between 50 and 60 Hz. Additional menus are available by clicking the Show menu. Dropping down to current, we can see the current range is set to auto, which is the preferred setting. Other configurations available are auxiliary, which is for sensors such as thermocouples, and events such as dips, swell, interruption, and inrush current. Now that we've gone through our configuration, let's check the connection. Here we can see our current measurements and if your load is on backwards. It will be indicated by a red arrow down if it's in generator mode. A red arrow up indicates load mode. Here we can correct it by selecting autocorrect or manually correct it by selecting correct digitally. Before we start logging, let's take a quick look at the live voltage, current, and neutral current. Going back to the live view, let's look at harmonics. Here we can see the live trend over the last few minutes. We can also see the voltage harmonics and the current harmonics. From here, let's look at the power. Here we can see the live trend of active power over the past few minutes. You can also toggle between RMS and fundamental readings. The show menu drop down allows you to look at everything separately. Now let's set up the logger. By clicking Edit Setup, we can see the Energy 1 log is set up to record the energy costs every second for a duration of 10 minutes. If we wanted to change that, we could by scrolling down through the presets. As you can see, we do not have enough memory to run a 12-week log every second. For this demonstration, we will record every second for a demand interval of 5 minutes. Once we have started the recording session, we can jump to different views by pressing F1. Here we are displaying the graph view of the recording in progress. We can update our screen by pressing refresh. Let's fast forward to the recording session and look at the captured data. Here we can see the interrupt, swell, and dip that occurred. Also what happened to our current and power. Looking at the graphical view, we can see that phase C drew the most current. We can also look at volt amperes, reactive, and demand. To watch these and other videos in the series, click on the thumbnails below.